Jill Stein, um, I was listening to the radio, my mom was the radio the other day, and this lady, black lady, I think she's like independent media, she was critical of Jill Stein mm-hmm. because she's protesting about not being able to be at the debates. And apparently the lady was like, where was she with Michael Brown and Trayvon and Kwame hmm. Donald? You know, it's funny that she kind of was just critical of, I guess, certain politicians or white, I guess, I was not say white politicians, but Jill Stein <laughs> in general because she's not, I guess, speaking out about these issues. Well, so my quick question is, where was my she? quick question is, yeah, my quick question is, how do you feel about that? Do you feel, mm. or how do you feel about more people speaking out on the well, Bryce, I, I'm going to let me, I'm going to put you on mute and I'm going to hang up on you because you're trying to get me in trouble, man. You can always call in here. Thanks for the call, man. You always call in here trying to get me in trouble. Um, I, you know, I'll say, I'll try to say one, 30 seconds on that. Um, I don't know where she was. That doesn't mean that she wasn't there because I don't know she was there, but I'll put a challenge out to my audience to see if you support Jill Stein, and I generally do, and I'm going to vote for her, but um, I would like to know, where was Jill Stein? Um, Yeah, yeah, I told him last week that I'm voting for her. Um, Where was Jill Stein in Ferguson, uh, Baltimore, on any issue prior to this election season? I don't know. So I can't say she wasn't there, but I will say I don't know. And if you do know, please let us know so we can let the world know.